Hello and welcome to this guide on configuring your phone number for SMS and MMS capabilities across both the 3CX Management Console and the Tillin 1 Console. Starting off on a 3CX Management Console, we're going to navigate to the Messaging section and now up to Add SMS. And we're going to select Twilio as our SMS provider. Here we can use any name to help us identify this SMS integration. We will now need to gather our account SID and auth token from our One Console dashboard, but be sure to keep this tab open for now. Now on our One Console dashboard, we're going to select the Show button under 3CX Private SMS Messaging Credentials, and now we'll need to press the I icon next to both the account SID and account token. We will now need to copy and paste the account SID to the account SID field, as well as the account token to the auth token field on the 3CX side. Now that that's done, we'll be heading back to our One Console to configure our number for SMS, but before we do, let's copy this webhook to our clipboard as we'll need this shortly. Back on our One Console, we're going to navigate to SIP and now Phone Numbers. We can now locate the phone number we wish to configure and select the ellipsis here and then select View Number. Here we can enable SMS via the slider. We can now paste in the webhook we previously copied from the 3CX messaging section. Pressing review at the bottom will allow us to view our up to the total monthly cost on this number and from here we can submit to apply this change. We're now done on the one console portion so we're going to navigate back to 3CX to finish our SMS setup. Back in our messaging section we're going to navigate to the route tab and here we're going to add our inbound route for SMS. We're going to select add and now type in our SMS enabled DID in E164 format which prepends a plus one followed by the phone number. We can now configure where inbound SMS messages are sent to here. This can either be directly to an individual user's extension or to a queue if you'd like messages sent to multiple users. Now that we've selected the extension, we can press OK and now OK at the top to save this SMS integration. Now that we have our inbound route set up, we're gonna configure an outbound route. For this, we're gonna to navigate to the Users tab and now we're going to select the user we wish to enable SMS for and at the bottom of the general tab we're going to select the checkbox to enable SMS and here we can select our outbound SMS route. We can now save this extension. We will also need to check whether chat is enabled on this 3CX instance. For this we're going to navigate to settings and now options and here we can see allow chat is already enabled. As an additional note, MMS will not function if your messaging integration was added in 3CX version 16. The integration must be added or remade after upgrading to 3CX version 18 for this to work. If you're unsure when your integration was added, the messaging webhook will include V2 here for a non-MMS capable integration or a V3 for an MMS capable integration. We have now completed our configuration of SMS and MMS and are ready to begin using this from our 3CX iOS or Android app or from our web client or Windows app. And this concludes this walkthrough on configuring SMS and MMS across 3CX and the Telen 1 console. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at 844 448 3546 or through email at sales at telen.com.